disturbing new videotape uncovered allegedly showing an illegal immigrant getting beaten and then tasered by Border Patrol agents. His name is Anastasio Hernandez Rojas, and he died soon after. The story, though, was uncovered through a joint investigation by PBS Need to Know and the Investigative Fund of the Nation Institute. Take a listen. You can see Hernandez Rojas on the ground, surrounded by more than a dozen officers. Pay attention to the officer's extended arm. You can clearly see the sparking of his taser as he fires two wires carrying more than a thousand volts of electricity into Hernandez Rojas. The coroner in his report said there were traces of methamphetamine in his system and he died of a heart attack. They say it's unclear uh, what exactly brought that on. The U.S. Attorney and the Customs and Border Protection offices say they have no comment on this story. Joining us the morning, this morning, the woman who shot that video of the incident, her name is Ashley Young, investigative journalist John Carlos Fry, who's been covering the case since the very beginning. Nice to see you. Thanks for talking with us. Ashley, let's begin with you, if we can. Walk me through, back to 2010, uh, what happened that you you came upon the scene? Um, good morning. I was coming back from having dinner in Tijuana and I was walking across the pedestrian overpass uh, that leads back into the United States and I heard a man screaming, ayudame, ayudame, which in Spanish means help me. And it wasn't necessarily his words that kind of took me by surprise. It was the way he was saying it. And um, it was very, it was a very desperate cry for help. Um, I walked over to the end of the pedestrian walkway and I saw him in this kind of triangle park area, which I later learned is a kind of detention area, release area for um, people getting deported back to Mexico. And uh, I saw kind of two Border Patrol agents on top of him. Um, and he, had, he was handcuffed and his pants were to his knees and it seemed as though his feet were also bound at the time. Um, and then over a course of 25 minutes, it just escalated and um, several more officers showed up and um, I witnessed Anastasio being tased five times. So John, um, tell me a little bit about this man, Anastasio Hernandez Rojas, who is he, who was he? Anastasio Hernandez Rojas was an undocumented immigrant from Mexico. He came to the United States when he was 16 years old. Uh, he had five U.S. citizen children, lived in the United States for over 25 years, uh, held a construction job for all of those years. Um, and he was found to be undocumented and was in the process of being deported when this incident happened. I want to play a little clip from the documentary, uh, and you're narrating it. So let's have folks listen, and then I'll ask you, John, another question on the other end. Let's play that. Sure. You can see Hernandez Rojas on the ground, surrounded by more than a dozen officers. Pay attention to the officer's extended arm. You can clearly see the sparking of his taser as he fires two wires carrying more than a thousand volts of electricity into Hernandez Rojas. John, what was the story that you felt uh, wasn't getting out that you wanted to tell by showing this videotape? Well, uh, just a quick correction. That's actually John Larson, the correspondent's oh, voice apologies. on there. But what I wanted, no problem. Uh, what I wanted, what I wanted was actually for this to be exposed. This case has been buried. This happened two years ago, and the press release from the Border Patrol and from the San Diego Police Department is basically that this man was combative. He, uh, he uh, taser was applied to subdue him. He fell to the ground, had a heart attack, and died. And in the videotape, we clearly see that that's not the case. There was never a mention of how many officers were involved. There was never a mention in police documents that this man was beaten. He ended up having five broken ribs and uh, um, severed spine. He was bruised all over his body. This, uh, this beating took place over the period of about a half an hour. He was handcuffed, and he was also tied around his ankles, as Ashley says. This is information that's all new. So let me play a clip where uh, the, the Border Patrol agents are telling him to stop resisting. And then, Ashley, on the other side, I'm going to ask you a question. Let's play that, guys. Okay. So John has said this is important because the resisting part of the story uh, could be critical if any case were ever brought forward. Ashley, did you see him as you watched this uh, tra you know, transpire for roughly 30 minutes. Did you see him resisting in any way? No, he wasn't resisting. Um, the only thing that they could potentially make a case for is that his body was convulsing as he was being tased, but he wasn't resisting. 
So John, why do you think that this is so important, that quit resisting, quit resisting that we're seeing on camera? This is a very public area. There are hundreds of pedestrians that are coming to and from uh, Tijuana, Mexico here. It was dark. People were starting to gather. They were trying to get a look at what was happening. And I think that the officer yelling, quit resisting, was more for the crowd uh, to let them know that they were actually in the middle of some sort of a melee. It's very clear on the videotape as the officer is yelling, quit resisting. There is a man lying on the ground with uh, over a dozen officers standing around him. Uh, there's no way, at least by the videotape, that the man is, is in any way, shape, or form resisting. John Carlos Frey and, uh, and Ashley joining us as well. Thanks for being with us, and I appreciate you um uh, Ashley Young sharing that videotape with us. It's really disturbing. It will be interesting to watch if this actually uh, brings uh, this case a little more to the forefront. Thanks. We appreciate your time. We were talking a little bit earlier about cases like this.